are you? Well, it's so ins well. inspiring to meet you and to have you here. And you actually started making hats because you couldn't afford one yourself. Exactly. That's some, And how did you turn it into this huge fashion empire? Well, the short story is that I, I couldn't find this hat that was really easy to make. Um, and I took $40 and I, I made a bunch of them. And I stood on the corner in Queens and sold $800 worth of hats one day. I figured I was onto something. Like any green entrepreneur, I, uh, I wanted to start this big business. I then created about 10 shirts, and I would put it in videos, and I would take it off the wrapper and put it in another video, and take it off the wrapper, wear it on a date, put it on another wrapper, take it off. <laughs> I did that for about two years. Before I knew it, I was perceived as this huge fashion company because I was in all these videos. Meanwhile, I was the waiter in Red Lobster getting you guys the cheese biscuits that you always ask for, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, and you know, and, and that's, that's, that's really the short story. And then I, I basically got LL Cool J to wear the product and he wore it in a Gap commercial and then people just started flocking towards it and there it is. I mean, but it wasn't easy, I know, Damon. What, what were some of the, the roadblocks along the way? The roadblocks are, can you get everybody else to believe in it? Because almost everybody says it can't happen. And you know, you should never listen to those people because that's why they're living right next door to you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and nobody else can stop me. I'm the only person who's going to be in my way. On Shark Tank, I know you help aspiring entrepreneurs. Yeah. What separates the boys from the men or the girls from the women when it comes to really making it? Well, you know, everybody who has made it have a couple of things in common. They set a goal and they can visualize themselves in the place they want to be. You cannot hit a target you cannot see. Right? Next thing is they study what they're going to do. Then they absolutely will not take no for an answer. They're going to figure it out. They're going to take, they're going to get way more no's than they get yeses. But when they succeed, it just succumbs everything. Meanwhile, you met recently with uh, the president, President Obama, uh -huh. who said something like you were the, uh, one of the greatest entrepreneurs of all time. Well, you know, I think that's why he's a president. He's gifted in, <laughs> in a way to speak. So we were someplace and he goes, Damon John, the greatest entrepreneur of our times. And I go, oh my God. And then I hear him over there going, so forth, the greatest donut maker of our time. And, you know, <laughs> but I still felt special. He can make everybody feel special. And, and it, it's so important just to have someone who believes in you. Yes. You've just got to find someone who says, you know, that just that one person who says, you're not crazy. Of was course. there one person like that for you? It was mom. Your mom. Mom always said it always say, you know, I grew up, I was dyslexic, I was bad in school, and she always said, Damon, put your mind to it, and you can do it. And she really, you know, she really backed me. They always say, behind every strong man, there's an even stronger woman. And this is the truth.